Hey, thanks for watching the Coffee with Pip show. I do appreciate you stopping by and supporting my channel today. Today I'm going to be talking about Costco. Costco's rotisserie chickens. Wow, they're really good, but but are they going to keep them at $4.99? How can they do it? Everybody else is charging a lot more. Let's find out right now after the chicken dance. Welcome back. Okay, let's get into it right now. So we have Costco's rotisserie chicken. I had it one time before and um, I was there yesterday and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this and share this great treat with all of you. I'm sure that, you know, a lot of you have already had uh, the Costco chicken. It's, um, it's awesome. Guess what? They sold 101 million of these chickens last year. Everybody's experiencing a chicken shortage, but Costco, how do they do it? Well, first of all, let me tell you that Costco's rotisserie chickens is a loss item leader. So what that means is they take actually a dollar a chicken loss, and they do that to get you into the store, and that is very smart. Did you ever see a Costco going, it's, it's huge. Okay, so you go all the way into the store, but you have to go all the way into the store all the way to the back to get the chicken. That causes them to make more money and you to spend more money. Okay, so you're gonna not walk out of there with one rotisserie chicken. Why? You're gonna go to Costco and walk out with one rotisserie chicken? You're gonna grab some other things along the way that you need and unless you buy the $1.50 hot dog, oh my God, you get the hot dog and a drink for $1.50. Okay, let's try this. I'm just going to take a little piece because I can't eat the whole chicken, of course. Seasoned rotisserie chicken. Okay, so they have fully cooked on site at Costco's because they do cook them on site. They're delivered seasoned, but they do cook them on the premises and they keep on filling in the case. How fresh can you get? Okay, so I'm going to just take a little bit. I know I'm not supposed to take the knife towards. Oh, I'm just kidding. Now the uh, skin isn't crispy, just so you know. So that's what you got. All white meat here. It's very juicy. There's a lot of juice at the bottom of the container too. It's not dry and gets stuck in your throat like a lot of the chickens because they sit out all day or they're not even just processed as well as this chicken. This is really good. I'm really enjoying this. Hmm. And then if you're looking for smoked chicken, now you got smoked chicken. How can you go wrong? Okay, so this is what I found. All of these things, chicken roll-ups, chicken Caesar, bags of rotisserie chicken meat. All in the case, right next to the rotisserie chickens, miles long. And do you know why they do that? They are using the chickens that don't sell. So if the chickens don't sell, they don't want to sell them, put them out again every day or just leave them out. They take the chicken and use it for that purpose. And it's so fresh, it's not even funny. Did you ever have one of their Caesar chicken salads? Oh my God, I have, and it's a big family size. I kind of feel bad sometimes when I look at all the chickens and there's been so much controversy about um, Costco with their processing uh, plant um, by a lot of animal activists because all the chickens are like all squished together and everything and, but crying out loud, there's like a hundred thousand a day and all these little chicks are being born and stuff or hatched, whatever you call it. Little eggs go up the conveyor belt, they pick out the good eggs and then they, it's put in the incubator and then they come out little cute little chicks. Oh my God, I can't even tell you. Oh, look at this little chick. It's so cute, but when they get older, they are uh, ugly. 
I couldn't believe the people grabbing chickens like crazy. Like, they're all the same, but they're still looking for the best one. They're all three pounds, you idiots. And they all are the same. They really are. Well, nothing's the same, but they are like the same size. They're all three pounds or around three pounds, nothing under three pounds. I didn't weigh them personally, but I'm taking their word for it. I mean, they could get in big trouble if it wasn't three pounds, because I'm sure some people go home and weigh it like the people from Walmart probably go home and weigh it and go, aha, it's 2.999. Well, now we got you, Costco. Big class action lawsuit there. All in all, I do recommend Costco's rotisserie chickens. Um, I had Walmarts before. First of all, I hate going in that store. Oh, but I did like it. They're right at the register and it's like kind of, well, not at the register, but they're really kind of right up front. And, um, um, and I have to tell you, it says buy me because you're hungry and you don't want to have to go home and cook dinner if you haven't cooked dinner, but you get there and you just, they're small. I can't believe it. I, it's just the convenience of the store, I guess. You go into Costco usually to buy the bigger things. You have to show your uh, membership card and everything. But it's really, really worth it. It really is. So out of all the rotisserie chickens I tried in my life, from one to five, I give this chicken a five. You could also add extra seasoning if you want like more salt and pepper and what the hell goes on a chicken, garlic. I don't know. I'm not a cook but you can spice it up a little bit too. You can make it more of a, a Jamaican jerk type chicken. Get it? I said jerk, I don't even know what that is because like Walmart's a jerk. But I did ask the guy, I go, um, yeah, I really like your chickens. And the guy that was recording the dates and everything. And he goes, yeah, if you went to Walmart, you're gonna get pigeons. And I was like, ugh, couldn't even imagine eating a pigeon. But I mean, I guess I know what he was talking about. They're small. And I go, well, what about Sam's Club? Probably the same thing. He goes, they're the same thing, Walmart and Sam's Club. Well, they're useless. No, he didn't say that. I just added that. If you want to know more about these chickens, go to Costco, Costco.com. Actually, there's a lot of great stories. I'll put one up from CNN and uh, Mashed and uh, Eat This, Not That. So there's a lot of great sites out there uh, that you can go and get some real education on some of these um, uh, chickens. You'll really enjoy the stories I did. I just didn't enjoy the part where the little chickies died. But other than that, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell and I'll update you with new videos that come out every week. Sometimes they put out more than one a week or a Pips short video, which is one minute or less. I, I can't tell you what it is. And this time I do know what I'm going to do. I remember last time I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but okay, everybody, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Costco Chickens. You didn't sponsor this at all. If you want to sponsor me, you can. And I'll say, give my honest opinion. That's what I'll do. Thank you, everybody. And have a great week. Ow.